Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so we have understand about class based component props and now let's see the functional component with props. So what I do is I will uh, go to SRC in that oh, uh, one problem I made is I have not created components folder I create directly employee. Right, so I'll do a small change. I create components folder. I'll just move this to components. Okay, and it is imported from components folder. Okay, fine. Now I create one more component called student. So new JavaScript capital student dot JSX created. Okay, and how functional component looks like import react from react and just say let student is equal to a function i'm writing arrow function so this returns something that is uh, react dot fragment in that just say h2 welcome to student uh, and i'll say export default student okay done but one problem here is every time you have to write this type of structure instead you can take a backup so i go to notes i create new file something called func component dot txt i'll paste it so that i can reuse it next time okay don't waste time in creation of structure uh, okay so now um i go to app I command this to employees control shift to forward slash control shift forward slash and comment control shift forward slash again to comment okay so go check nothing is there okay now um, I'll create a student component what happened student has come but I want to display like a card what I do I go to employee simply i copy this whole react.fragments and i'll replace here the card and all and i don't need anything just say h2 let's say welcome student welcome student so you got a card with welcome student that's fine now what my plan is uh, same story if i copy this and paste it again you get two times welcome student welcome student but i want to have own data so how you do again you can provide some name i'll say name is equal to something uh, john okay and here name is equal to uh, i'll say laura like that so i provide two properties name and name and i mean only one name okay but where how can i read that you know how to read in class based components right uh, using constructor you receive and this dot props dot name of the property same like that in 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 functional how to read is this is the function right so function parameter can read that property so it's not just empty function parameter it is props simple no constructor here right so through function parameter it receives the props and how to use them very simple you write expression props dot name because you provide a name there right so name now check welcome john welcome laura got it and only one difference is class base you have this dot props dot name and in functional you have just props dot name okay and i'm also providing the course course is uh, btech okay and uh, bachelor of technology and uh, course is equal to something mbbs okay so two courses so how can i read them very simple you just say h3 let's say course display dynamically props dot course so now you get a course btech and mbbs two courses 
very simple and one very very important thing you have to understand in this is up to here you understand right yeah one small thing i'll change i want to see the complete props data how you do you may write console.log of props if i say console.log of props what happen you go inside the console you can see the props name lara and uh, course has come correct that's fine but every time i don't want to open a console and check i want to see the whole object as it is on the ui whole object i want not just like mixed with html content the raw data as it is i want to see so if you want to see the raw data you may write like this uh, some pre tag expression is a html tag i say props props is an object right so i say props now save it go check what happen everything goes away just because of see there is no error at all if i write props everything goes away after some time you get the error i think in console you get yeah see here you got lot of errors error is objects are not valid as a react child the tag which you are displaying right the content which you are displaying object as it is you can't display previously what you have done you have not displayed object as it is object dot name is a string uh, object dot name uh, course is a string so string you display that's why it is properly rendered but here it says object itself be cannot rendered so so what you have to do is object as it is you can't render okay so what you do you can convert into string format tell me how to convert an object into string json dot stringify of props okay the whatever object is there never try to print object as it is even it contain one property also okay so never try to print object as it is it throws the error because it won't render as a react child the whole object you may read uh, properties of it if the property itself is object also not prints okay so you can convert it json dot stringify of props now what happen see you got a whole object now you really understand okay this object contains name and course without looking into console okay this is an easy practice best practice so you can give a pre tag json dot stringify of props you can convert an object to string format so that you can see it what all the properties are there if it is you you confirm what is there then you can print it does not matter right okay that's fine and we are done with class based uh, sorry functional components with props now in the next video we'll see the state concept of class as well as functional let's meet in the next video thank you